Thank you. Minasan, ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning. It's nice to be with you today. It's uh, always a pleasure and always an honor to be invited to visit with this group uh, so from time to time. We've had a, a, a vacation, uh, that's a terrible word for it, but a, uh, a stay where we weren't able to get together. We weren't able to have uh, the Consul General visit us here in Idaho. So, so this is his first visit, and to him we say welcome. And thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I was impressed by his comments. I think they are dead on the money. Uh, that this is a great opportunity time uh, for the relationship between Japan and the state of Idaho. I drove up this morning from Declo, Idaho, my hometown in south central Idaho. If you don't know it, you need to get to know it. Uh, come and see me and I'll show you around. Uh, but I was reminded at the great diversity uh, that the state of Idaho has topographically and geographically and why it's such a, a great place to come and visit. Uh, I would love, by the way, uh, Consul General, to take you down to southern Idaho and show you the dairies and the potatoes and, and some of the things that we uh, love and that make such a great economy. Um, I uh, have had, uh, as was mentioned, a significant amount of experience with Japan over the years. And that started all the way back when I was 15 years old as an exchange student. And uh, here, here we are today. So uh, I love to speak about Japan. And the only thing I like, well, my kids, but the only thing I like more than Japan is to speak about Idaho. And so it's my great honor today to visit with you. We want Idaho to be the front door, so to speak, for Japanese businesses who want to expand into the United States. And that includes, in particular, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, in addition to the large corporate entities that have already uh, become great partners to us. Uh, Idaho, by every measure at this point, is still a rural state. And I think that actually adds to the great capacity for Idaho to be the front door. Uh, as the uh, Consul General mentioned, uh, 1.8 million people and all those square miles, 83,000 plus. Um, whenever I've gone to Japan or met Japanese people, not necessarily here, and said, I'm from Idaho, one word comes to their lips every single time. Well, it's actually one of two words. The first word's jagaimo. The other's potato. <laughs> because the Idaho Potato Commission has done such an excellent job over the years of establishing the brand that has made us famous. And it's true that Idaho's agricultural output is impressive and that our relationship with Japan in terms of agricultural uh, trading is important to Idaho, with Japan being our fifth largest market. Uh, of course, Idaho is diversifying. And so it's not just agriculture, but it's other, uh, uh, other opportunities that will be a great thing for Idaho, uh, I'm sorry, Japanese companies that are coming to Idaho. Uh, this is kind of by the numbers, but Idaho exports to Japan about $201 million worth of exports. Uh, you'll see there the breakdown. Coming back the other way, uh, almost the same. We have from Japan $176 million and some change. So this just demonstrates to you uh, the, 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 the same concept that the Consul General spoke about. It's an important and long established and growing uh, import-export um, relationship. Now, it's been a tough year and it's been a tough year um, because of the pandemic. It's been a tragic year because of, because of the, tra uh, the uh, pandemic. But there is something phenomenal happening in Idaho, and it's the continued growth of the Idaho economy. So in the last year plus, Idaho has ranked the fastest growing economy, the best per capita job growth, and, and that's not just low wage jobs. Those are great jobs. Um, even, even now, uh, in the coffers of the state of Idaho, we have over $900 million in excess. Even now, uh, one year ago to today, we have grown the number of jobs in Idaho through the pandemic. And so there is something amazing happening in the Idaho economy that will make great opportunity for Japanese businesses to join with us and to expand. As I mentioned, um, 
we can be the front door of those businesses as they come to the United States market. Let me tell you why. First, Idaho has an amazing strategic location, one that I think has almost been overlooked over the years. But it goes back, I think, to that jagaimo, to that potato. Because we decided years ago that when you have perishables, we've got to move them. And so from Idaho, you can get on the interstate system. And within 13 hours or so, you've reached all the major metropolitan markets in the Western United States. That's pretty impressive. But even better, we have established transloading facilities and intermodal uh, opportunities that allow us to get that same potato to the eastern parts of the United States. And this, of course, translates into all kinds of industries and opportunities uh, for other businesses as well. I pushed it twice. We'll see what happens here. There we go. The business climate. So I've, I've mentioned a little bit about it, but why is that happening? What is that phenomenon that's, that's so impressive in the Idaho economy? Well, I would chalk it up to low regulation and taxes. It's easy to do business here. We are seeing diversification. I will tell you, in the small towns of Idaho, who have relied on agriculture for many, many years as the, the sole source of income for those communities, they will double down on that agriculture, but they will also tell you that they're hungry for diversification. They want some other stuff to go with that to make sure that it's a more stable economy. And so as you drive into southern eastern Idaho to northern Idaho, into the smaller communities even, you'll be welcome there with opportunity. Idaho has done a good job in recent years, I'd say the last five or six years, in expanding our awareness of our need to attract foreign direct investment. And I commend those leaders in Idaho who have done that, including our involvement with the federal government in the Select USA program and other opportunities that have opened doors. Uh, here in a minute, I'm going to be talking about the Sakai Company. That was a company that I think they will explain to you was, was found this exact, this exact way. Uh, as I mentioned before, all business matters. It doesn't matter that it's a small business. In Idaho, most of our businesses are small business. We have, we have developed this economy on small family business. And so one of the things we've noticed about Japan is that there are smaller firms, there are medium-sized firms, who have now reached the point where they want to make that foray into the United States market and they just need a little help in knowing how to do that. And so uh, we want to be, as a state uh, and as communities, ready for that and able to meet that uh, need. Um, our good former governor, and I never get this quote exactly right, but uh, Butch Otter always talked about the need for government to keep up with the speed of business. And that is a commitment that I have seen continue on with the current administration and I think will continue on well after that we don't want the red tape and the slow-moving wheels of government to slow down someone's business opportunity. And we make sure that we don't do that. Uh, on top of being a, a, a rural state, one of the advantages you have is, because it's a small state, we, we kind of know each other. Certainly within the, the, uh, the uh, halls of government. Um, if I need help from the state government, it's easy for me, of course, but even before I was in the state senate, I could call, I knew I could call the governor's office, I knew I could call the, the Commerce Department, and they would, they would be there and answer the phone. We had moments where we were attracting companies in the state of Idaho and picked up the phone to call the governor and he actually answered the phone and talked to us. That's a, that's a rural teamwork advantage that many states do not have. Uh, but not only that, we have developed, as I said, through uh, Select USA, working with uh, our universities, and I, I recognize uh, that we have representation here today from them, but also the local economies, that when a company comes in, there's a broad kind of package that can be put together. And, and it's important uh, that as a rural state, we have the ability to work across that spectrum so that the package is complete. Uh, in, investment incentives and job creation incentives. Idaho has gotten very progressive in recent years in developing the Idaho Tax Reimbursement Incentive, where when you create jobs in Idaho, you get reimbursed some of your taxes. It's been phenomenally successful. The Idaho Global Entrepreneurial Mission, uh, I'm a member of that board. This is the teaming up of Idaho's research universities with new technologies that need some help in commercializing. Another great concept. 
Uh, it's one that, in a moment, I'll speak about Sakai again, that we've used already with a Japanese firm to try to advance some very important technology. And of course, there are a variety of other commerce grants and workforce training assistance opportunities so that when the company arrives, we can make sure the infrastructure is ready and the workforce is trained to meet their needs. Sakai Casting and Hatsu Group. So Sakai Casting, just very briefly, I think they're going to tell you in just a moment about the company, but that's a company that came to Idaho uh, after meeting at Select USA, uh, opened a location in Idaho, and has been working with our research universities, Boise State and University of Idaho, uh, to develop new technology for the storage of nuclear waste. It folds in very nicely with the Idaho National Laboratory, of course, it's located in our state, and uh, was supported with uh, dollars from the state of Idaho. So these are opportunities that we hope will continue to come forward and uh, we'll work with the assets that we have in Idaho to make our relationship stronger and the opportunities better. We hope that you'll grow your business in Idaho. For those of you who are listening that are from Japan, uh, that uh, see this opportunity, we want you here. We want to help you come here. And uh, for those of you who are, uh, who are here from uh, our industries, from Idaho, uh, we will help you as well. Uh, there's nothing better than selling an Idaho potato abroad. Let us, let us help you do that. We want to help you. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's such a great honor. And uh, here's to good business with our very close partner, Japan. Thank you very much.